All right, so you think that Johnny was piece was the best piece we got? Whew, mm -mm. No way, man. Look at yeah. this thing. It's a wax jacket, and this pays for the haul like two times over. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Hi, I'm Camilla. And I'm Kang, and we are the, the Five, Five Resellers. Resellers. And today we have a Goodwill Outlet bins haul for you. We are going to show you what is fueling our business, the items that we're getting that we're selling online, and these items are low cost. And mm -hmm. so that's the way that we run our business. We keep our costs really low, and sometimes we find some real gems that make us a ton of profit. Yeah. So come see what we got. Let's start off with something really interesting that Camilla picked up. It's this aluminum bat. When the bins are rolling out, there was in the bin, there was a, a baby car seat, which I actually really wanted, but another woman got there first, which is fine. And this bat. And so when she got that, I took this because I had seen on YouTube channels that they can sell for a good amount. And I know nothing about them. I know absolutely zero. We know so, to look up comps. Yeah, That's we, what know we know how to look up. <laughs> you and too. this seemed like it was doing well when I looked it up on eBay. I'm not sure, you know, what kinds of things take away value within bats. Like it's got some scratches up here and it would need to be retaped mm -hmm. down here. I'm sure that those are you know, kind of easy fixes if right. it's a really nice bat. As long as it's not dented, I think it's still pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we have some Echo shoes and these I believe are um, spikeless golf shoes, but they don't have like the metal spikes. And it says that this is yak leather. So these are some really nice shoes. And I know that Echo is a good brand. I've been watching a lot of Ginger Marvin videos recently and they sell a lot of Echo. So when I saw these in the bin, I decided to pick them up. Yeah. And these seem to be in really nice condition. Like there doesn't seem to be that much wear on right. these treads. Okay, so here we have some Dance Ghost clogs. These are just like the nursing clogs, but they are nice patent leather. And these are almost like camo or like smoke kind of themed, I would say. And these are size 40. They do have some wear, like, I don't know what to call this, like... On the inside, on just the, right there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what to call this piece of the shoe. What, it would, what would you call this? Yeah, let us know I always have a struggle... Have any keywords for that? When I list dance goes because often they're worn right here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I kind of say, you know, where the foot goes in or whatever. Because I want to be able to make it clear to the buyer where the wear is, you know, where it's... Where the wear... <laughs> where, where it's the worn wear, off. Where, where it's, it's worn off. off. Yeah. Exactly, but I never know what exactly to call it. Okay, one of our favorite bread and butter brands, yes. Bionic. So these are some Bionic loafers, and these are in really nice condition. Yeah, I really mean, nice. they have, you know, some kind of dirt on the bottom. Like, they definitely have been worn out, but they, you know, from the top, you really can't tell at all. And these are really nice. They've got some suede back here and then leather at the top. These are really cute. Here we have some Sam Edelman sandals, and I like to pick these up. They seem to be quick sellers for us and these are in really nice condition on the leather and all of that and they should sell for us for about $15 but they usually sell pretty quickly so I'm happy to pick these up. All right these ones were really interesting because there was a lady that just had them and threw them right back into the bin and I went to go look at them. Uh -huh. Sure enough they're Giuseppe Zanatti's. This is a designer brand and they're in really good condition. We don't know if they are authentic or not. We um, would have to kind of check in on that and all that but they seem really nice on the bottoms like um the leather kind of bottom is really nice that makes us think that maybe they are real but mm -hmm. i couldn't find this exact style anywhere online when i was searching you know around using keywords trying to find this shoe but if you have any idea of how to you know authenticate this let me know um we would love to do that before we sell these we sold giuseppe zanotti just once before because it's designer and you know we don't get to pick them up very often mm -hmm. and that was a pair of sneakers it took a little while to sell because mm -hmm. this is something that you kind of have to find the right buyer for right so, exactly we'll see okay so here we have a faux suede jacket by the brand bb dakota and i don't often pick up this brand but i thought that this jacket was really cute and kind of a classic style mm -hmm. and when i looked up comps it seemed like they were going for about 25 dollars so I figured I would take a chance on it um, and see how it does. So this is just a little funky little thing. It's by the brand Jeff. Yeah, so it's a little romper play suit and it's got an open back back here, which is super cute. And it's got just alphabet on it. So yeah. um, just thought this was totally unique. Very you know, stylish. Yeah, exactly. I could see someone wearing this during the summer and, you know, going to like a concert or out to a bar or something like that, that would be perfect for it. Okay, so here we have a pair of jeans and it's by the brand Grace in LA, which 
I didn't know anything about, but I picked it up because it has these, you know, bedazzled sort of pockets. I love picking up Miss Me's and Rock Revival jeans, so I figured that maybe these would be kind of similar. And they were, they aren't as desirable as those jeans. They're kind of like a lower brand of it. But I think that we can sell these for at least $20. This is just a New Day, um, which is Target. I thought it was a really cute yeah. top. New tag. Why and not? it's new tag. So I figured, you know, I could take it into like Plato's Closet or something. Oh yeah, so it's from 2020, Q4 2020. So I think that they would buy this because it's a more recent piece. So here we have some J. Jill linen pants and we love picking this up. They always sell for us. So we like to buy them when, you know, they're in nice condition. They usually sell for about $20. Yeah, so these are pretty consistent for us. Mm -hmm. This is a J. Crew cashmere sweater. And so we picked it up because it was cashmere. It's got these cool buttons down the back, which is super cute. Kind of mm -hmm. like a backwards cardigan sort of look. Yeah, Italian cashmere. Yeah. Sounds so, pretty fancy. Not just like American cashmere, but like Italian cashmere. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, it increases the prices good. if it's from Italy, right? Yeah, it means it smells like garlic. <laughs> 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 Terrible. <laughs> Sorry, Italians. Don't be offended, please. Okay, so here we have a Chico's jacket, which... Okay, this day was like, I think the day after we made like two Chico sales right in a row on Facebook Marketplace. So we were kind of in a Chico's mood. Yeah, we were so, thinking, oh, let's try it on Facebook Marketplace. We'll yeah. get it another one. Yeah, exactly. So I think that there is a Chico's market on Facebook Marketplace. It's got this nice little leather detail. At least. Yeah. We were still being choosy. Right, right. We didn't pick up everything. Just the newest Chico's label and, you know, the nicest stuff. So this is a little crop top by Aster, the label. I haven't decided if I'm going to try to sell this myself or take it into um, Buffalo Exchange because it was so light and it's so kind of small, like insignificant. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to get for it on eBay, but I would expect that they would pay me like five bucks for it. This is a vintage Calvin Klein dress and it's 100% silk. So those are the two reasons I picked it up. I thought it was really cute. It's got kind of this wrap front, um, underneath here. I just thought it was like a very kind of 80s look, but you know, you could still wear it today. I could see you wearing this with like some ankle boots or something like that. Very cute. Okay, so this is a really funky piece too. Really funky. Jeez, look at this. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's a huge. velour jumpsuit by Nordstrom. When I looked up comms, they seemed to be going for about $30, which I was kind of surprised because I feel like this is a very unique piece, but there were other ones that had been listed and sold in the last 90 days. So we'll see how it does. So this is one that we're really excited to pick up. It's Kangaroo Crafts and it's 100% wool and it's got a little lemur on it, which is so cool. Like most things don't have lemurs on them. It just is in really nice condition. It's a super thick knit. So I think that this will do really well. So this is a blazer by the brand Super Down, which is sold on Revolve. And we sold this, I think, once before. It sold pretty quickly, so I'm excited about this. It has a little belt with it. I don't really know why, like why you would need a belt with the blazer, but I guess it's, you know, style, fashion. Okay, so here we have a Calvin Klein sweater. And the reason we picked this up, we don't pick up a lot of Calvin Klein, but it is new with tags, so we decided to pick it up because of that. And it was almost $90 new, so I feel Just like... nuts. We gotta be able to at least sell it for like 20, right? Yeah, right? So, Jeez. I don't know. We'll see. This is a sweater by the brand Conditions Apply, which is the anthropology brand. It's got these cool sleeves with these leopard print, you know, rainbow leopard print on there. Very cute. So anthropology sub brands usually sell for us around $20, unless they're like a really high end one, like Farm Rio or something like that. Oh, a Johnny Was piece! Johnny Was! <laughs> so we love finding Johnny Was, and Kang actually found this one, which yeah. is a rarity, I feel like. Yeah, so anyway, this one is really nice, very heavily embroidered, and it's a nice yeah. color. We just wow. love it. So just we can't wait to, you know, list this. I actually forgot that we had this. I was not yeah, expecting Yeah, I forgot we had this too. <laughs> <Both is out. laughs> Johnny was size large. Yeah, the so size a good large, size. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Large and extra large and even bigger. Those are great Johnny was sizes. I feel like I most often find them in, you know, size small, but size large is even better. So this is by the brand A Loves A, which I don't know much about, but when I touched it, it felt like silk. And when I checked the label, it was silk. So I decided to pick it up because it was a really nice, you know, top. And silk is pretty expensive. So 
that was the reason I picked this up. And I thought it was a really nice pattern too. All right, so you think that Johnny Was piece was the best piece we got. Mm -mm. No way, man. Look at yeah. this thing. It's a wax jacket. And this pays for the haul like two times over. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, so when I looked up comps on this brand, um, it was going for about $300 for one of these rifle coats. So when I saw it in the bins, I thought, oh, maybe it's a barber jacket. And, you know, it's pretty close. Like, it's kind of in the same realm of things, mm -hmm. you know, kind of those outdoor hunting sort of jackets. So what I was really, really excited to find this and be able to pick it up. And it's in pretty good condition. I mean, it's not like... The barber coat that we had had like a huge stain on it so <laughs> yeah this Which at least still does sold not for a hundred dollars yeah this at least does not have any huge stains at least that we've noticed so far so so here we have some american eagle jean shorts we love picking these up they sell for about 15 dollars, but they sell pretty quickly for us yeah we are definitely on the lookout right now for shorts as you know spring is starting so these are some bdg shorts again should sell for like 10 to 15 dollars mm -hmm. but most likely i'll take these into Buffalo Exchange is just like a kind of gimme. Levi's 511s, which we like to pick up and sell. They are just kind of a classic style of jean. They, you know, sell pretty consistently for us. So these are some Levi's 501s, which are our favorite Levi's to pick up. They seem to do the best and these have a button fly. And King says that they are a good size, but that's just because they're close to his size. But I don't really know that that's really true in terms of selling. I don't know that there are that many men that are that small, but you know, whatever. Here we have some free people jeans. They are, you know, just some skinny jeans, distressed, you know, got the knees blown out basically, but other than that, in great yeah, condition. Nuts. So we tend to pick up free people, you know, yeah. bread and butter. It is mm -hmm. pretty good. Here we have some true religion jeans, which we don't find that often, but when we do, we tend to pick them up. They seem to do pretty well for us, so. Yeah, we'll look up the comps on these. Mm -hmm. You know, surprisingly, these being so expensive and whatnot, they don't always resell very well, but mm -hmm. apparently the Rocco one that we have here does pretty decent. So yeah. sell through rate's good. We picked them up. These are a pair of jeans by the brand Rock 47, which is by Wrangler. I believe that these are men's, but they are like an ultra low rise because they say ultra low rise, but the rise is pretty high. So mm -hmm. I feel like they must be men's. They are pretty small. So it says a 15, 16 by 34. So I don't know what the 15, 16 is. I, that is really confusing to me. Very confusing. But anyway, when I looked up this brand, Rock 47, you know, Wrangler, they had a pretty good sell through rate and they were doing pretty well. So I think that these are kind of more like going out dancing, you know, like country star jeans versus like the work sort of jeans. These are your dress jeans, you know, compared to your work jeans. <laughs> so this is a Hawaiian shirt by the brand Untuck It. And Untuck It is a great brand that we are often looking for. Bread and butter, you know, sells for $20, $25. Yeah. But this Hawaiian one, I think should do pretty well because, yeah. you know, it's Hawaiian and, you know, we've got spring coming up. So these are just some Nike sweatpants. Yeah, they're really big. So yeah. I thought they would do well. Yeah. So we like selling men's stuff. It seems to sell pretty consistently for us. So we're happy to, you know, pick it up when we find it in the bins. Two Chico's pieces in one haul. I know. Wow. It's a rarity for mm -hmm. us. But this is a really good size, which is why we picked it up the the latest um, Chico's that have sold have been the size three. So when I saw it in the bins, I thought, okay, well, we'll take a chance on it and try it out. Okay, here we have a BCB generation jacket. It's a really nice, like heavier type jacket with a lot of metal, which reminds me of kind of like a moto style jacket. Mm -hmm. So I hope that we're going to be able to get like 25 or 30. It's kind of the lower end here of BCBG, you know, all of those uh, that umbrella of brands mm -hmm. but we'll yeah. see so this is just a carhartt button up but we love picking these up these kind of you know almost canvas style yeah, it's really thick it's shirts nice. so yeah really nice you know people know that these are made with quality so you know they know that they can buy them used and it'll still last them for a while so this is a columbia omni shade shirt the reason i picked this up was i would like to wear it on a vacation that we're going on in a couple months and I figured that I could sell it afterwards, but it's really nice for, you know, like putting on over a swimsuit or something when you don't want to get sunburned. So that's kind of the point of this, uh, of this kind of Omni Shield technology. So here we have just a plain fleece zip up from the North Face, but I figured we could get about $20 for this, maybe 15. Another one, the North Face. So this is just a quarter zip, but I thought the color was really nice and it's a men's, I believe. 
So that should do well for us, probably around $20. This is a marmot jacket and it's just a fleece zip up, but thought this was pretty nice, you know, kind of a classic style. It should sell for $20, maybe $25. Okay, so this is a Maeve top and it's a plus size Maeve, which I hardly ever see. So I was really excited to pick this up. So we'll see how that does. Maeve usually for us sells around $20, but I'm not sure with this particular piece because it does seem to be a more recent one. And you can tell that because it says Maeve by Anthropology instead of just Maeve. The older ones just say Maeve on the tag. This one we really, really were not sure about because it's yeah. such a really big piece, but yeah. it's just too cool to go into a landfill or anything. I know, we had to go out on a limb for this one. Yeah. So it's a Western style coat. I'm pretty sure it's floor length. Like this must be floor length. Trailblazers, like yeah, like the real cowboys of the West. Right. You know. Right. So it's a canvas kind of barn coat material. It's like a it's yeah. Crazy, but crazy high quality. Yeah. So we're hoping that this does well. But I think this is a really awesome coat. I mean, like totally unique. You would be the only person in the room looking like this. So mm -hmm. you know, pretty cool. Okay, so this is a Winnie the Pooh type. Um, it has Eeyore on here. I couldn't find any exact comps of this particular sweatshirt. Yeah, it's almost like a jersey and it's, you know, knit. And I thought it was really nice. And I figured that, you know, someone out there is like a Eeyore super fan and needs this sweater. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how it does. But other Eeyore things like in this size seem to be doing pretty well. And I feel like this is nicer than what was listed. So we'll see. So another Made by Anthropology piece. And this one is Again, one of the more recent ones because it says by Anthropology, but I thought this was pretty cute. We will pick up most Maeve that we see. Most of the time it sells for about $20, these kind of basic blouses. So here we have some Soma pants and we love selling Soma PJ pants. They do pretty well for us. They should sell for about $20. They've yeah. got some Prosecco on there, which yeah, is pretty cute. So print. Soma PJs are so soft. So I'm sure that's why people buy them online is that they are like super, super soft and they're really expensive new, like yeah. really expensive. Okay, so here we have a Land's End coat, but it's a nice puffer one. Mm -hmm. And I thought that the pattern was really cute. So also it's down, so yeah, really nice. Yeah, exactly. So that was the reason we picked it up, but it's not really the season for it anymore, but we figured that you know, it'll sell maybe next season or something like that. 90% down, 10% feathers. Nice. So very high quality. Exactly. Nice and warm. This would be great for winter. So that is everything that we picked up at the Goodwill bins. So all this stuff will basically help us, you know, grow our business. It will help us, you know, make profit online. At about $2 or so per item, this is a really good strategy. This is a great uh, business model that we have found a lot of success. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So let us know down in the comments what your business model is. Are you also the type that likes to, you know, keep your costs really low? Or are you more that you'll spend more to make more? And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing. We love going to the bins. We love showing you what we picked up there. So if you are interested in more bins, you know, good of all hauls, please subscribe because we have so many more videos coming for you. Yeah. And we will see you in the next one. Yep. See you later. Bye. So when I saw these in the bin, I decided to pick them up. Yeah. I picked them up. Oh, you picked them up? <laughs> I don't remember. I, I could have sworn I picked those up. That's okay. Are you sure you just I'll put it like in the bloopers. Up? Are you sure you can just look them up and I picked them up? I the also bins. wonder, look, I remember the yak leather. I was like, whoa, this is really interesting. I'm going to pick it up. From the cart that I had already put it in? <laughs> we picked up these as a little lot to put together. They're two Ralph Lauren sweaters but they are both 100% wool. But these are really cute and they were in, you know, didn't have any mouth holes or anything like that. So decided to pick them up. Oh, I see that. And here's a big mouth hole right here. Uh oh, I missed it. it. Has a little belt with it. I don't really know why, like why you would need a belt with the blazer, but I guess it's, you know, style, fashion. fashion. I'm not really sure. I don't know about that stuff. You would think I would being a fashion reseller, but I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, so these are some free people jeans and they're just some, you know, basic skinny jeans. Oh, there's this huge hole in the back. I didn't realize this was in the back. I thought that was in the no, front. No, that's the front. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is the front. <laughs> <laughs> so this is BCBG Generation. BCB Generation. Oh, 
BCB generation. Okay. I think it's BCBG generation. I mean, I, I see that, but it's BCBG Max Azria. Like, it's the same thing. It's all in one. It's all one brand. They're all sub-brands of the same brand. 